Hello everyone, welcome to I exam B. So in today's video, we will understand the difference between the convertible bonds, warrants, options and ESOPs that is employee stock option plans. Convertible bonds. So convertible bond as the name is prefixed with the bond that is the word convertible herein the bond holders are given an option to convert the bonds into equity shares of a company during the tenor of a bond. So herein when the option is exercised the bond holder gives the bonds back to the company and in return gets the equity shares which are new equity shares of the company and the option which is given in terms of convertible bonds is voluntary in nature. The bond holder can either exercise it or not exercise it and also the convertibility is embedded in the bond. It's not that that bond and the convertibility option can be separated or like you can keep the bond and have the shares too. That is not possible. So this convertibility is embedded in the bond that has to be exercised or not to be exercised. So if convertibility option is exercised, the new equity shares are issued in return. So when new equity shares are issued by the company to the bond holders, then it leads to the dilution of stake. And these equity shares which are to be converted uh, in the ratio that also has to be decided beforehand that is it is predetermined. On the other hand warrants, warrants if they are attached with the bond then bonds and warrants can trade separately right. So these are like they can be traded separately unlike the convertible uh, bonds where the convertibility is embedded in the bond. So what happens why the companies issue uh, bonds attached with the warrants because in, they are issued in order to attract uh, the investors to make investments in these types of bonds and in order to facilitate the raising of money by selling these types of bonds in the market. So that additional benefits in terms of warrants are given to the bond holders so that the coupon rates which will be offered on these bonds will be lesser as the additional benefits uh, are given in terms of warrants. So warrants give the right to the warrant holder to pay the exercise price which is predetermined to the company to get new equity shares in return. So when this exercise price is paid to the company and new equity shares are given uh, to the warrant holder, then this looks like an option. You know, this seems to be working like an option, but it differs from option in a way. So what are the options? Option gives the option holder the right but not the obligation to buy the underlying shares at an exercise price at the maturity date, right? So in this case, company is not involved there are two parties who are involved that is option buyer and one is option seller so there is an agreement between these two parties and another thing is that existing equity shares are traded there is no involvement of uh, new equity shares only existing equity shares are traded so when new equity shares are not involved there is no dilution in case of stock options there is no dilution Right. So another is employee stock option plan that is ESOPs. So in this case, employee is given an option to pay exercise price of the company to get the equity shareholders with this kind of options. Right. So in this regard also new equity shares from the company are issued to do these employees. Basically, these ESOPs are uh, traded as a part of the salary of a key employee. So ESOPs are given to these key employees wherein they are given an option to exercise it to pay the exercise price to the company and get the new equity shares from the company. So that when these key employees are beneficial for a company because they will work towards uh, the betterment and growth of the company in order to make the share price of the company increase in the future. That's why they are given additional wealth benefits so that they can exercise this option and get the new equity shares by giving the exercise price which will be lesser than the market price of a company. right? So uh, it is over and above the salary which is given to them. So the employee is given ESOPs with a vesting period, right? So after that, they can get it converted as new equity shares are issued with exercising of this option. So equity share capital of a company will increase when the conversion, when this option is exercised. So dilution of the stake takes place, 
right so that was all uh, for the difference between the convertible bonds warrants options and esops right thank you so much so in this teach on this teachers day that is on 5th of september we are starting with a new batch that is say for sebi grade day 2023 general stream where 100 days live class schedule is going to be provided and also you can download the pdf for the whole schedule and special sessions before the 100 days plans which is commencing on 31st of this month will be given uh, to specially the special attention will be given to those candidates who have non finance and non commerce background right so with this regard uh, these uh, uh, concessions are being given you can do subscribe to that and uh, also please subscribe to the i exam b channel and don't uh, forget to press the bell icon thank you